After Congress tries to subpoena Kellyanne, Trump's girl gives them a one-finger salute. Kellyanne Conway has been one of Trump's biggest supporters, and she's been a vital ally. She's been on the Trump train since the 2016 election, and today she serves as a top counselor. So naturally, Democrats want to take her down, and that includes hitting her with a series of accusations. The latest involves Conway's supposed violation of the Hatch Act, and Congress has even subpoenaed her, hoping to intimidate Conway and the administration. But Conway is sticking it to Congress in the best way possible, by defying their orders. From Politico, White House Counselor Kellyanne Conway on Monday defied a congressional subpoena, refusing to show up for testimony to the House Oversight and Reform Committee about her violations of the Hatch Act and prompting House Democrats to threaten to hold her in content of Congress. Yep, Conway just snubbed Democrats in Congress. Conway and the administration are refusing to comply with their subpoenas. It seems like she gave them the old one-finger salute and said no way. Luckily, the law seems to be on her side. White House counsel Pat Cipollone explained that current and former presidential advisors are absolutely immune from congressional testimony. In a letter to Representative Elijah Cummings, Democrat from Maryland, Cipollone further stated, because of this constitutional immunity and in order to protect the prerogatives of the office of the president, the president has directed Ms. Conway not to appear at the committee's scheduled hearing. So obviously, Trump is siding with one of his top advisors, and the two aren't about to play these Democrat games. To me, it's obvious the Democrats in the House are just trying to find some way to hamper the Trump administration. They failed at trying to pin Russian collusion on him. So now, they are subpoenaing every member of his team, hoping to find a traitor. But they're not going to find one in Conway. Democrats are hoping to scare a Trump ally into giving them something they can use. They think if they can put the screws on a Trump staffer, they'll dish out some dirt on Donald. Two problems with that. One, no true Trump ally will betray the president. And two, there's no dirt. Just look at what happened to Michael Cohen. Kellyanne Conway is no coward. She's not going to give in to the demands of a group still bitter over 2016. And we stand behind her and the president 100%. Don't give in.